All right, so I walked into the middle of Marvelous Bridge, and it prompted me with a question, and I said yes. And I guess it was asking me if I wanted to, like, activate or use the Lunar Wing because Cresselia dropped down. <clears throat> and now um, I need to go ahead and teach one of my Pokemon False Swipe, which is TM54, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double-check that, though. Uh, yeah, 54. So I'll go ahead and teach that to... Um, Samurott, because I think that's the only Pokemon that I have that can actually learn it. So let's check out what his attacks actually are. Um, I have Hydro Pump, I'm pretty sure that's an HM. Yeah, so I mainly use Surf and um, Ice Beam. So, and actually, I technically I can't get rid of Surf anyway, so I'll just get rid of Hydro Pump because I don't like the accuracy of it anyway. And now <clears throat> I should be good. I'll just go ahead and save though in case I have to do this all over again, but yeah, I'll go ahead and save and then I will hopefully Poke or uh, Ampharos is in first spot. Yep. So I'll go ahead and start this off then. And I will begin with a Thunder Wave to paralyze it. And then I will use Signal Beam, considering it is its weakness. Although Cresselia's uh, special defense is really, really high, so it shouldn't do that much damage. And it looks like I should be able to do one more signal beam before um, sending out Samurott and hitting it with false wipes. Oh wow, there we go. That was really close to. Alright, so I will go ahead and... Well, actually I'll send out... Um, throw. Just so that way, um, and in the meantime, I'll just start sending, or start throwing, um, Ultra Balls. But that way, I can send out Samurott with a fresh start instead of sending him into an attack. There we go. Thank you, Throw. I'm sorry I have to use you as a punching bag most of the time, but anyway. So now I'm going to send out Samurott and just hit him with some false wipes. Until I get to the point where it no longer does any damage, pretty much. Which, he may already be down to, uh, one damage already, but I guess I'll just keep on using this until I'm out of TP, considering I taught it to him and I haven't been to a Pokemon Center. He only had five uses anyway, so... Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, that is... That is not good. <laughs> That's really not good. It totally has a healing attack, and I didn't realize that. All right, well, I may have to do this all over again, to be honest. Um, let's try using an Ultra Ball right now. Nope. Well, that sucks. I mean, as long as it doesn't use that healing attack, I should be fine, though, to be honest. Um, I'll use one last false swipe because I think it can still, yeah, lose a little bit of damage. Alright. Um, let's hope that this works. Because otherwise I might be in pretty bad shape as far as not being able to get it down to 1 HP again. 
Okay, that sucks. Alright, I guess it's just a matter of throwing ultra balls and hoping that they land. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, let's see how much the psychic attack does. Shouldn't do very much at all, considering it has a uh, resistance. There we go. Wow. That's kinda lame. But then again, catching Pokemon, or catching legendary Pokemon especially, a lot of times is just really lame. Where, for no reason, they pop out without even one shake. Man, so close. I'm just really hoping it doesn't use uh, Moonlight. Although it seems like we're getting closer to catching, and there we go. So even though it has a healing move, I mean, it, it probably only took me like... 10 Ultra Balls, maybe 15, so, I mean, realistically, it wasn't that, that terrible of a Pokemon to catch, so, anyway, I guess I'll just keep on traveling down this bridge, although I'm under the assumption that that's probably the only thing that is really notable here, but maybe there's a guy who sells Magic Harp. And I think that is that guy, except I don't have any room in my party because I just caught Cresselia, who has 15 HP. So in the end, False Swipe didn't really even come into play that much, to be honest. So, And I think this should probably just lead to... Um, I don't even know what city, to be honest. Not Nimbasa. Yeah, pretty much Nimbasa City. Route 16. So, I guess I will actually go buy that Magic Harp. Just for the hell of it. 
Although, actually, I guess technically he could be, like, not selling Magic Carp anymore. He could have bumped up his game and started selling, like, Squirtles or something. Although I would highly doubt that, but we'll see. So I guess I'll heal. So let's see what actual Pokemon it is, and yes, it is a Magikarp at level 5. And it looks like it has, well, it has one attack with 40 PP, and it's probably Splash, which doesn't do anything. So, yeah, that is kind of the epitome of um, Magikarp. It's kind of doomed to be a useless Pokemon, unfortunately. Although, you know... It does evolve into uh, Gyarados, so. Anyway, um, let's see, where should I go now? I could either go to um, this Stralton City and see if I could go through Twist Mountain to get to Icarus City, or I could just go to um, Opelucid City and then go through Route 9, and then a bridge, I forget the name of it, and then through Route 8, and I think that's what I'll do. So, I guess I can... Well, actually, I think I'll deposit that magic card. Just as far as a water type goes, I will just continue using Samurott. I don't feel like training up a Gyarados all the way to, like, level 70 just for this playthrough. So, I'll say Sayonara to this magic card. And then... I think that's it. So, and maybe off camera, I should look into, like, getting an HM Pokemon. But, in the meantime, I'll make my way off to um, whatever bridge is after Route 9. Which I think might be Two Blind Bridge, but I forget. <coughs> so here we go. Finally, at this bridge, and this is where I will call it quits, and I'll pick it up here, and then I'll go through uh, Route 8, and maybe the more vigorous in the next video. So I'll see you there.